Watch out for Larry. She's funny. Yeah, it's very furry and soft. It's so black and white. That's white. Yeah. We are currently doing a fencing project. We're trying to finish chain linking the rest of our uh, property. We did about 40 acres and we have to do another 40 acres and because there was old fencing before and now we are trying to finish it so then we can let the goats up into those fields and then also we're trying to fence in our property by the house a little more so the goats aren't in our area and they're and so we have more of our own living space so we don't have to deal with goats and poop and all that stuff that comes with livestock. So we are getting there. He's got a lot of posts in and I'll try to go out and video that soon. And so you can see he's working on just doing some welding. Hey Nate, what are you doing? So we're modifying, this is uh, version two of the T-post driver that we mount to the tractor here. Uh, hold it by this chain with the with the clamshell bucket. And what you're doing right now is you're adding length to it so that you can do it solo without needing someone to hold the... Yep, trying to make it a one-man job. I just kind of push the post on the ground so it stands up with my hands and then come along with the T-post driver and uh, just push it into the ground with the tractor. Cool. So I've got this Show them the threaded coupling in there. See, put a, he welded a threaded coupling in yep. there. And, and now I've got different lengths of pipe that I can screw in there. I'm not going to go all the way because I want to pull it back out, but you get the idea. So now I can slip that over the whole T-post. Like this. Obviously it's upside down. Right in like that, and the T post is less likely to bend, so it's being held by this. So, and, uh, we'll show you, we'll try to video it when he's actually doing it so you can see.